Goddess and Donation. So I'm coming to you with a another um, channel message or dream download that I received. Okay. So always remember to take what resonates, what doesn't. Do not feel obligated to make it fit to your life and your situation. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay. So the dream download that I received. Um, and I want to say in, in the beginning of this video that all of this for legal purposes, I won't be naming any names, but this video is for entertainment and or reaction purposes only. Okay. Like I said previously, take what resonates, what doesn't leave it be. All right. So in my dream, um, first and foremost, someone may have to move soon. Okay. I did get that. Um, in the dream, it was in a dream set setting. The two people that were in my dream, I definitely recognized them. Okay, a Pisces female and Aquarius male. Okay, um, they were moving. The Aquarius male, from what I picked up, wasn't as talkative as the Pisces female. The Pisces female was the one doing all of the talking. Okay, um, this could be someone who is just constantly collective someone who may not be able to keep your name out of their mouth okay um also i was picking up very very strongly in this dream a mother figure okay um a transitioned mother figure okay um i can't remember exactly everything that was said in this dream but it was just a bunch of just mouthing okay just a bunch of mouthing all right and like i said said i did see these individuals packing up having to move or you know packing up their place of residence so i did go ahead and pull some energy um on what i received and let's go ahead and get into it so first we're going to um start off with the truth teller oracle deck okay so the first card we have is female who sets up her own family member or female who set up her own family member okay next we have that water sign is an agent okay um then we have toxic family dynamic okay next we have no worries all blind spots are covered and this is a message from your guides all right Something could be significant about prophecy and a deadbeat, okay? Next, we have using a child for protection, okay? Then we have no worries, all right? Next, we have their plan dumb. They know a lot, okay? Then we have women getting pregnant and sacrificing their babies, okay? Next, we have jealous of your royal blood. Then we have she's not guilty, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So something could be significant about a female air sign. Okay. Um, also, I was picking up something about a fire sign as well. Okay. Also, when like the fire energy and the basically when the, the elements come out, it could be significant about like air could be about communication. Fire could be significant about something swiftly or someone using a lot of fire magic. Airs can be about someone chanting as well. Okay. Earth magic could be, I mean, yeah, earth signs could have be surrounding earth magic and stuff like that, okay, and water could be surrounding someone um, using a lot of water magic or trying to conjure water deities, okay, um, then we have um, secretly married to a transsexual, okay, next we have they need you, not the other way around, something could be significant about a child predator, okay and then right behind that we have the the symbol that stands for a female so something could be significant about a female child predator okay then we have she's plotting a fire sign this individual could be a fire sign or this could be someone who uses a lot of fire magic okay or something could be um happens happening swiftly when it surrounds a fire sign okay then we have clout chaser. So whomever this person is could be a clout chaser. Okay. 
Next, we have ex slept with brothers. So something could be significant about an ex sleeping with a brother, a female fire sign, or someone who uses a lot of fire magic, um, who does rituals and shit like that, could have slept with a brother, okay? Um, then we something about bestiality. So these individuals could be into bestiality, okay? Something significant about glamour magic. And then we have she's guilty of water sign, okay? So like I said in the beginning, I was picking up, well, I was picking up on a Pisces energy. So something could be significant about a Pisces energy using glamour magic, okay? Then we have intervention. So something could be significant about divine intervention. Um, and that's and, it, and this could be that fire energy that I'm picking up, okay? Like that swift action. Then we have the Grim Reaper is here, okay? Next we have the truth and is not in him, her, or them, okay? Then we have government providing protection to the ops. So the these, like we had earlier, if I'm not mistaken, we had aging come up. So the government is providing protection to these individuals, okay? Allegedly. Next, we have she's guilty and earth sign. So like I mentioned before, something significant about earth energy here. I'm picking up on a Taurus, okay? Um... Something could also be significant about someone who is like the head of something. Okay, they could sit in like in a prominent position maybe. All right, I'm picking up Virgo energy. All right, as I'm saying that, someone could be a Capricorn or someone could be in devil energy as well. Okay, next we have pride before the fall. So this person is getting ready to take a fall. All right, and then we have created fake accounts in your name. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. I had to pause for a second. So, um, and then lastly, we have created fake accounts in your name. Okay, so whomever um, this person is that is taking a pride, I mean, taking a fall, this person could have created fake accounts in your name. Okay, any of these individuals could have created fake accounts in your name. Okay, so following that, I was asked to take out my Beyond the Veil Oracle because, like I said previously, I was heavily picking up a mother figure, a grandmother figure um, in the dream state, okay, who wanted to be known, who wanted to, you know, who was surrounding this energy, okay, so the first card um, we have here is, and to, um, this energy could be like I say previously, and I say all the time, when I use my Beyond the Veil deck, they could give me messages that are surrounding this dream, you know, this dream download. They will also give me messages of past, present, and future energy as well. They will also, I will also get um, energy with some, sometimes they come through telling their own story, okay? Or they could be telling someone else's, all right? So take what resonates, what doesn't, leave it be, all right? So the first card we have is the number one, okay? So something could be significant about that number um i was shuffling shuffling i seen one and then it popped out again so you could be seeing 11 11 as well something could be significant about the first of the month january 1st okay i think this came out in another message that i had posted yesterday so something significant about the number one something could be significant about an individual okay a single individual or something like that okay um um, so next we have LGBTQ plus energy right behind that. Okay. So something could be significant about a, um, person who is a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Okay. Um, next we have, I speak to you through movies. So whomever this individual is, could be someone who speaks to you through movies. Okay. As a way to communicate with you. And then we have, she strangled me. All right. So someone, a part of the LGBTQ plus community was strangled. Okay. I don't know why I'm picking up. It's a young lady that I was planning on doing and I'm picking up her energy now. I was planning on doing a Beyond the Veil uh, reading about her. She was a young entrepreneur. Um, I can't remember right off top where she was from. I want to say Houston or Texas or somewhere like that. I cannot remember her name. 
um but i'm picking up her energy here with this okay i'm i'm heavily picking up her energy here so um so definitely stay tuned for that beyond the veil okay but um anyway so we have friendship so something could something is significant about a friendship all right so um this could be a friend of yours collective or this could be a friend who did this to this individual, okay? Someone who played like a friend, who acted like a friend, okay? Um, like I said before, this could be past, present, or future energy as well, all right? Um, then we have eternal love. So something could be significant about... Um, this is giving me... Like I said before, something could be significant about... I don't know if this is like a past, like a past life energy. Okay. So something could be significant about a past life energy here as well. Okay. Or someone you had a past life with someone who may know you from a past life. Okay. Um, and then we have memory right behind that. Okay. So like I said, this could be someone, um, that you've known from a past. This could be like some type of soulmate I'm picking up. Okay. So something can definitely be significant about a soulmate here. All right. And like I said, the number one is significant. All right. Someone, something could be significant about someone liking that number. It being his favorite number. I mean, being their favorite number. Um, I'm, I don't know why I'm saying like some type of patch on a jacket or something like a jacket or a jersey. Okay. I'm saying that as well. All right. So moving on, we have um, the next energy that I got is the help me card so the help me card came out um something could be significant about a libra or something surrounding um so something could be significant about the months of september october as well um something could be significant about some uh, court situation or judicial situation justice something like that um balance okay um the letter c could be significant Okay, and then we have I send you synchronicities daily. So whomever this individual is, is someone who sends you synchronous synchronicities daily. Okay, and like I said, this ind individual could be a Libra or have Libra somewhere in their chart. Okay. Um. So to further clarify this, we have protests. So something could be significant about a protest. All right. Um, something could have happened to this individual, which um, created protests. All right. Or um, conjured up some type of protest. All right. This individual could be someone who is actually behind some type of protesting. All right. Or trying to or some type of collaboration. OK. Um, next, we have daydream. All right. So this could be someone who with this with the asking you synchronicities daily. I'm picking that up off of this daydream card as well. So um, something could be significant about someone who daydreams about you collective or um, daydreams about how, you know, about these creating turmoil. <laughs> OK, so. Then we have robbery, all right? So something could be significant about a robbery, all right? Um, this individual could have been a victim of a robbery, okay? Um, or this could be someone who tried to have you rob or robbed from or took from you, okay? All right, someone could be heartbroken behind a robbery, okay? Um, yeah, so next we have Aries, all right, so something could be significant about a Aries energy, okay? Um, this is Aries also is emperor energy, okay? Something could be significant about March or April as well, all right? It, um, April 1st or March 1st could be significant as well, all right? So something significant um, also with the emperor energy, father figure. So someone could be a father figure here, okay? Father figure energy, um, the years 1980 to 2000 could be significant. All right. So something could be, um, significant about those between those years. Okay. Um, then we have live and learn. All right. So, um, someone could, something could be here about something could be significant here about someone 
I'm hearing taking their losses. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing taking their losses. Okay. Um, like lessons, learning and, and lessons. Okay. Life lessons. I'm hearing as well. Okay. Um, next we have vow. All right. So something could be significant about some type of vow. Someone made to you collective or vice versa. All right. And then we have loss. All right. So um, whomever this person is, is a transitioned energy. Okay, I'm picking up here. All right, they could have lost their life between the years of 1980 and 2000. Okay, or you could have been separated from this person between these years as well. Okay, someone could have transitioned when you were younger. I'm picking that up also. Okay. Um, then we have a few ancestors that came out or, you know, energies that you may work with collective. Or like I said, these could be your guys or these could be your actual ancestors, okay? So the first answer, um, card that came out is, I'm here, Egyptian goddess. And I was about to clarify this, but immediately after this card came out, Sekhmet came out. So Sekhmet is present, okay? Um, and Sekhmet wants to remind you, collective, if you work with Sekhmet or if Sekhmet is, you know, your ancestor, that you got this. Okay, and I can actually feel her energy now as I'm speaking. Um, gratitude segment. But, um, yes, just a reminder to want, want to let you know that you got this collective, okay? Whatever this turmoil may be, whatever this protest there may be, whatever these hurdles may be, it's a reminder that you got this, okay? Um, next we have, I'm here, Os Osiris, okay? So something could be significant about Osiris, all right? So following that is when we have the grandma energy, the grandma card came out, okay? So that further clarifies the um, energy that I felt in the dream state. Like I said, a grandma was definitely present. She wanted to make it known that she was present, okay? Um, so, and my cat just meow, so that's confirmation. Um, so we have disturbance. All right. So she is around. Okay. Um, and present. All right. Um, she is not happy. Okay. She is not happy at all. Um, we have promise. We have libation. We have death and we have fury. Okay. I am picking up tower energy. Okay. Earlier we did get the intervention card. Okay, so um, like I said before, this this mother figure, this grandmother figure, like I said, I felt her energy, big energy. Okay, and this individual is is not happy. Okay, um, so following that, we have I'm um, here Anubis. Okay, so Anubis is present as well, and then we have I communicate with you through music. All right. So Anubis is communicating with you through songs. Okay. So lastly, to finish out this reading, I have some zodiac signs that be that could be related to this energy as a whole. Okay. So the first card we have is a March Pisces. So something is significant about a March Pisces. We have a June Cancer. We have a May Gemini. We have a March Aries. We have a December Capricorn. We have a August Leo. We have a May Taurus. We have a January Aquarius. We have a July Cancer. We have a October Libra. And lastly, we have a September Virgo, okay? So that is everything I have for you, Collective, when it comes to this dream download. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you in the next reading.